Hello, welcome back. In the last video, I have explained you the motivation, the why you want to do performance testing. Okay. So here in this in this video lesson, we are going to focus on what kind of performance testing that we do. All right. So let's dive in. So there are basically three classes of performance testing that we can do. The first one is performance test. Okay. And second one is load test and the third one is with the stress test. These are the three kinds of test that comes under the umbrella of performance engineering. First one is performance test, second one is load test and third one is stress test. Okay. So basically what are you going to do in this, uh, in, in this table? Let's try to fill up what are the goals and what kind of issues that we detect in, in the type. So this is test type characteristics. Okay. So characteristics of each kind of test. Okay. So the goal of a performance testing is to understand the speed of system. Okay. That means how fast the, the system is able to respond to a request. Okay. Whereas the goal of a load testing is how good the system to sustain under a huge amount of load. So for example, if you see this picture, right? So here, like, you know, this airplane is stable right now. Okay. So it is basically sustaining so many number of users. Okay. So that means system behavior under load. Okay. So the goal of a load test is to understand how the system behaves under load and the goal of stress test is to understand what happens under extreme load so what happens under extreme load that means whenever i'm going to put an elephant on it it's still not going to break down it may be slow that's okay but it's not supposed to break down okay so that is the understanding that we get whenever we do a stress testing Okay, so now let's try to fill up what kind of issues that you detect in a performance testing. In a performance testing, what I would I would detect is probably what are the issues at a component level level. So that means let's say that just just recall that picture that we we, we we did in last time that we have this is our web server and then web server we have a farms of n number of app server and then we have two database server and then we have storage okay so this was the deployment diagram that we showed in the first video isn't it so if you see like a performance test can address you is there any problem at this level okay so basically you know we don't really need to test everything all the system okay so but but remember in a production system we have to see like you know, the user number one or user number two or all the users are connecting to, to this system, right? In the performance testing, you know, when, whenever we are, we are dealing with performance testing, our focus and our really the issues that we really detect are at the very component level, okay? And another thing in, in, in when, when we are running the load test, the kind of issue that you detect are like you know what happens you know if 100 number of users can use this system or not so this is called concurrency issues concurrency issues and in stress test one of the issues that we detect is there any data corruption is happening when we when these things are under you know extreme load whenever whenever it's, whenever it's stressing the system to the to the last mile are there any security vulnerability are there any security issues that are coming because like you know if you know for whatever reason you know when at the stress like if one of this server is gone down then can there is a possibility of intrusion to our system okay so now let's discuss how do we do that to understand the component to understand the speed of a particular component i just can try with one or two users okay and then i can test i can send a request and then 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 track where this request is taking time so basically with one or two users and then a lot of times what you do we do a lot of profiling 
in the code. Like say for example, if your application is a Java program, then there is a very nice profiler called JProbe. So using JProbe, you can profile where the method is taking time. That means uh, what I'm telling you is so much granularity into the into the understanding. So much basically we can we can really dig deep where things are problematic. Okay. And that you generally do with one or two users. Because whenever we are running a hundred concurrent user, it's difficult to figure out where it's going and what is happening in the system. So therefore, to do a performance testing, we we can we can do really with one or two users. Whereas in do when we do a load testing, we don't really like to we like to stress the system and the realistically production use case. That means like we follow something called a workload and don't worry about workload if you do not understand what is a workload is because I have a complete chapter on workload how to define a workload and so on so essentially what I'm saying here is that whenever you are doing a load testing you figure out a way that is you simulate whatever going to happen in the production use and based on that you create a workload and use that workload to test the system and stress testing you can do again with maybe you know couple of users like say for example the workload will basically follow 1 million users if 1 million users are your uh, actual user base but in case of stress testing we can just take 100 users and then sending we, we send you know the request without any delay that means this is not really you know in the real life the user number one is going to go to a page let's say user number one is going to go to page number p1 then he'll wait something and that wait something we call think time okay so that means he wait for something to read read that page and then he take the next action he'll go to maybe page two or page three depending on what he found out in page one so that is a realistic that that is what a real user is going to do and those kind of simulation we are going to do in terms of workload using load testing but in case of stress testing we do not need this thing time okay so that means we can artificially generate so much of load to the system so that even 100 user without any think time can produce potentially a traffic that is actually more than 1 million users doing the real things okay so that means what kind of things that we're going to do here it's a couple of users sending request sending request without any delay okay so so let me summarize what you learn here so there are three classes of test and each of the goals are different each of the test uh, you know designed to achieve different goals and different issues and different ways or different methods to do those tests thank you for uh, your time here and we'll see you next video